Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips, and this is part two. And if you didn't watch part one, and if you're not a plasma cutter, this will do you no good whatsoever. Uh, the gentleman is trying to keep sparks inside, so this is what his metal is going to look like. I really like the, the mousse, and I like the contour lines. So we're going to use those contour lines, and we're going to do exactly what we did on the deer. So what we're going to do is we're going to, I hate to mess with the deer or the moose's antlers, but we're going to, and you could put waves back on here later. And, um, well, I was cutting the wrong thing. Needed to cut his legs. Try to get them as low as you want. And you could slope that later. Um, you know, the grasses and stuff. And then we need to do the same thing to those antlers. Uh, we're not losing too much, really. Well, you can go the free end tool from node to node on this. And let's take the moose and fill it in. And the good thing about it, it's going to leave our lines. And I'm going to nudge that up. And I'm going to go ahead and um, delete, delete all the rest of this so when we put it in there, we can um, see what it's going to look like with the moose. Even though I didn't nudge this, I'll have to reposition it. Let's zoom in here now. And let's uh, left click, no fill, right click outline. Now, I'm going to change my nudge factor. And remember, you got your nudge factor set on 12. I'm going to take these pieces right here, go up to object and break the curve apart. And I'm going to nudge these interior pieces over twice. Um, actually, three times. And we're going to do the exact same thing we did for the deer. And I think it'll look pretty cool. If you select, we, we can actually select all these, even though we are maybe get a few nodes. Right click, break apart. Take your virtual segment, delete key, and delete this. Uh, whoop. I must not have broken that one apart. So get your shape tool again. Right click, break apart. Virtual segment, delete, delete key. You can actually grab the nodes and uh, dr uh, draw them away, but a lot of times that's harder. And do the same thing up here. Just take the shape tool. Right click, break apart. And once again, on this guy's antlers, uh, this is going to be probably too close, but at least it'll have this other part. Then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to grab it all. We're going to go up to object. And it's not grouped together, but I think they're individual lines. Nope. See, it's still all together. So we need to select it all for sure, go up to object. It should allow us to break the curve apart, but I don't understand why it won't, because let's hit delete and it deletes the whole, whole deer or whole antler, even though those are separated. There we go, break, break it apart. Now take this line, effects, contour, or one, two, five, it's going to mess up the antlers, I'm afraid. Nah, not too bad. And then do the do these two lines. And we could do the exact same thing we did on the other one. You could have this just be a cut line. It would make it a little stronger. So we're going to... now. So the other way would be to do the exact same thing. But I think we're good if we leave those lines and just do that. Now select it all, and we missed a line. But you know, that that particularly wouldn't look bad. Uh, just delete that little line. And you could either, you know, move this over and do the same thing. That doesn't look too bad. And you know, if I was doing it for real, I would have made his antlers a little taller like we tried on the deer. But you can't do anything until you break the contour apart. So select it all, go up to object and break the 16 objects apart. And then we're going to grab with the pick tool, grab that interior line and hit delete. So 
So that right there doesn't look too bad. That, it really doesn't look too bad. So now you've got, well, I didn't mean to do that. I needed to cut the inside line and maybe I did not break it apart. Yeah, okay, there we go. So once again, these are cut lines. Then we could bring this back and it would look pretty good. Now, in this case, we might even be better off if we did not use this as a cut line or a, like this because now our metal is gonna be to flow down in here. So this one might have been better just to leave without, um, let's get the two point, three point curve line and just remake these antlers. You see what I mean by just a single line plasma cut? And you know, things like this, I think you'll realize that this is too close together. So you'd move these down. I actually grab that one while those nodes are on top of each other. And then, you know, at this time you could make his antlers longer, make it look a little more like a moose. Well, you know what? A moose just has tips. So this doesn't really look too bad. So now let's see what it looks like when we add it to the metal. So, Everything black is going to be metal. Everything white is going to be cut out. I think it looks pretty good. I would actually maybe take this inner part of his um, and just reduce it, make it not quite as big. Now let's group this together, control G, and see if we can't put it into our scenario. And you'll just have to do that. The bear, I think, will be easy. It'll be just like that. I like the cut lines. I like the tree. Um, the rabbit would be the same. You know, the rabbit could just be cut out and maybe make it a little bit smaller. But now let's look to see what it's going to look like as a fire pit. Let's take a... Let's go here and go object... Well, we've already got the conjure open. Let's contour it one inch to the inside. And that's going to be our fire pit ring. Our tree's actually in it. Um, we can't really have that. So we could draw it, grab both trees holding down the shift button and just reduce them in size a little bit up and down. Our deer's good. Our elk's good. Our moose is good. Maybe make the moose a little bit more squatty body. And you know what? We don't need that contour box. Whoop. I need to break the contour away because we're not using that uh, way to do it. We're going to do this. So now, if you just a vision, and I'm going to cut a line so it won't go everywhere, take the smart fill tool and fill that in. Everything in black is going to be metal. Everything in white is going to be the spark. And you can kind of prove that if we take a box and let's make it fire red, go up to object, order, back a page. So that's what it's going to look like when it's on fire. I think the elk or the moose, it looks like his antlers, but it's going to give strength, you know, down in here. We're up here. We had to do that with the deer here. Uh, we can, you can maybe incorporate the, you know, the antlers into that, but that would be my suggestion. If you need any more help on the rest of it, please ask. Anyway, hope that helped. Thank you for watching.